I have a great lesson for us today and an even greater Bible story. It's one of my favorites. And we're going to be doing lots of counting today, so get ready for that. And before our Bible story, we're going to do a little activity. I have a sheet of paper and some scissors. Now let's count and see how many corners I have on my sheet of paper. One, two, three, four. Four corners. Now I'm about to use my scissors and I'm going to cut some of the paper off. Do you think we're going to end up with more corners or less corners? Okay, let's see. I'm going to cut this piece off and I'm going to give it away. And then I'm going to cut this piece off and I'm going to give it away. Then I'm going to cut this piece off and give it away and cut this piece off and give it away. Now let's count our corners and see how many we have. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight corners. The more paper we gave away, the more corners we have. We started out with just a little, but we ended up with a lot. That seems kind of crazy, doesn't it? That the less paper we had, the more corners we had. Today is kind of like that. Jesus was given just a little bit, but we're going to see what he did with the little that he had. But as you're listening to our story, I want you to be thinking of something. What role does God play in the story? How does God help Jesus and his disciples? Can you do that? Think about how God helps them. Okay, here we go. The story today takes place beside the Sea of Galilee. And all four of the Gospels have this Bible story written in them. So Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John wrote about this story. And this story has a big crowd in it. The Bible says that it had 5,000 men were in this crowd. And that's not even including the women and the kids that were there. So there were more than 5,000 people here. And you know who they were here to see? Jesus. And Jesus was there with his disciples. And these people had come to hear Jesus teach and to hear him talk and to see him and he was healing people. They had all come. So let's look in the crowd and let's see who's here. Mm, right here, right here. It's a dad and a mom and a little boy. The whole family had come to hear Jesus teach. And the lots of families did. And look up here. It looks like a grandpa and his grandson. They were here to hear, see Jesus. Look how happy the little boy is. He's so excited to be learning about Jesus. And all of these people were excited to hear. And let's look over here. Look at these people. What are they carrying? They're carrying some big backpacks, aren't they? See, all these people had been traveling with Jesus. They had been carrying the things that they own with them. They wanted to follow Jesus around and learn from him and see from him because he was doing really great things. But you know what? They had been doing that all day and they were getting tired and it was becoming late and the people were getting really hungry. Then Jesus said to his disciples, where can we find some bread to feed all of these people? And Philip said, even if we want bread, we would barely be, be able to give them just a little bit. And then one of Jesus' other disciples, Andrew, said, here, here is a little boy. And this boy has a basket of five loaves of bread and two fish. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. Five loaves of bread and one, two fish. Five loaves of bread and two fish. And Jesus, he took the bread and he broke it and he gave thanks. He prayed to God and he thanked God for giving him this. And then the disciples took it and they handed it out to all the people. They gave everyone something to eat. They just passed the baskets around and fed the 5,000 people. Now the people weren't just full by the end. They were really full. Everyone had gotten more than enough to eat. They had got enough fish and enough bread so that they weren't hungry anymore. But Jesus, not wanting to waste anything, he told his disciples, 
disciples to pick up all the leftovers. And so they did. They went around with the basket and they picked up all that was left over. And let's see how much was left over. Let's count the baskets they collected. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. They had twelve baskets left over. They started with just five loaves and two fish in one basket, but they ended up with twelve baskets of leftover. And that was after feeding all of these people. Isn't that crazy? They started with just so little, just five loaves and two fish, and they ended up with so much. They fed all these people and then still had 12 baskets left over. That's insane. But the numbers aren't important. It's good to know that there are five loaves of bread and two fish and that there are over 5,000 people, but that's not the main point of the story. The main point is that God provided. God played a huge role in this story. He gave all these people what they needed. They were hungry and God fed them. And God's gonna do the same thing for you. We just have to trust in him and not worry about what our, where our food or drinks or clothes are gonna come from because God will provide. And you have to remember that. For craft today, you're gonna need a sheet of paper and then a marker or a dark crayon and then a box of crayons of a lot of different colors. Okay, you might need a mom or a dad or a grandparent to do this first part, but we're gonna take the dark crayon or the marker and you're gonna draw a big five on your sheet of paper. And then you're gonna write the word and in the middle, A-N-D. And then you're gonna draw two on the side. So we're gonna make this five look like a basket of bread to remember that there are five loaves. And then we're gonna turn the two to look like a fish to remember that there were two fish that the little boy had. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. We're ready to turn the five into a basket of bread and the two into a fish. I'm gonna use a brown crayon for my basket. So the five part of the basket's already been drawn for you, but you're just gonna circle it around and make it whole. See what I did there? I just added a line and made a full circle, okay? And then this top part is gonna be your handle. So you're just gonna draw a connecting line down to fill it out. It kinda makes a square on top. That's gonna be like the basket handle. A straight line down. And then every basket has a little pattern on it. I'm gonna draw diagonal lines and I'm gonna cover up the whole basket. And then I'm gonna draw more diagonal lines but in a different direction. That way my basket looks more like a basket. You got that? Okay, now our next thing we're gonna draw is the bread. We can't forget the loaves of bread. So I'm gonna use an orange crayon and I'll draw a piece of bread right here and maybe one right here and one sticking out the top and one over to the side and maybe one more at the top. Okay, so now we got five loaves of bread in our basket. One, two, three, four, five. And then there's our number five to help us remember that there are five loaves of bread. Now we're gonna move to the two. We're gonna make it look like a fish. And I think I'm gonna make my fish blue. Now this bottom line is gonna be the bottom of the tail. And we're gonna make a triangle right here to make the tail. So two sides of the triangle are already drawn, but you're gonna connect this part to this part just with one straight line. There we go, there's our tail. And now we're gonna make this the body right here. It's kinda an ice cream cone shape almost. So I'm just gonna connect all the way to the top and I'll keep drawing around so it's all blue. And that's our body of our fish. Now our fish needs an eye, doesn't he? So I'm gonna add an eye right here and a little mouth, cause he's a happy fish. Then I'm gonna add some little fins on him. They're kinda like sideways C's and a big fin on top. And he needs some stripes on his tail. So add a few stripes down there. 
So there's our fish. And there's a two to remind you that there were two fish. Now we've turned our five into a basket of five loaves of bread and we've turned our two into a fish. So you can use this sheet of paper to tell others about the story where Jesus fed 5,000 people with just five loaves and two fish. But the most important thing I want you to remember is that the numbers, they don't matter. What matters is that God provided for them. God gave them what they needed. They had just a little, but God gave them more than they needed. And that's really what matters. God will provide for you throughout your whole life if you trust in him. Thanks for joining me today. Bye, kids.